50 years in prison for killing his friend and hurting a woman during a burglary. As 7 News reporter Dave Jordan tells us, it's part of a plea deal that could have gotten him the death penalty had the case gone to trial. James Howard sauntered into Oconee County Court awaiting his sentencing for first-degree murder of Scott Johnston. His first order of business expressing remorse for his crime. I would like to apologize to the family for what I've done. Howard was responsible for a string of burglaries throughout Oconee County. Authorities say he and a friend targeted Johnston's home where he lived with his fiance, Jody Corley. Howard shot Johnson in the chest and back. Corley was struck in the leg and tied up. In court, Howard's attorney blamed a tough, poverty stricken upbringing and psychological issues for his actions. His mother spoke out in his defense. I'm not a bad person, and neither is my son. I've raised you with respect. Always respect your elders and respect anybody. But Johnston's family members also weighed in. I'll never hear his great big laugh again. Never see him roll his eyes, and I can't help but give too much sisterly advice. After Judge Letitia Verdon heard all of the victim impact statements, she made her ruling. On 2014 GS 37 489 murder, the sentence of the court is 48 years. Had this case gone to trial, solicitors had every intention of asking for the death penalty, but after meeting with Johnson's family, they decided not to do that. Another man they say is connected to this crime is due in court next month. Outside the Oconee County Courthouse, Dave Jordan, 7 News. Judge Verdon's ruling stipulates Tord must serve all 48 years on the murder charge with no chance of parole. Tord also received an additional 88 years for burglary, kidnapping, grand larceny, and possession of a weapon during a violent crime. And